Asleep at the Wheel. Who would ever think to call a band Asleep at the Wheel? There was no band like Asleep at the Wheel in those days. Asleep at the Wheel was like watching a circus. I've always been a fan of Asleep at the Wheel. Hats off to him for, for showing young people what some cool music can be. You know, we were long-haired, anti-Vietnam, counterculture kids who just happened to love country, western music and roots music. Hey, you want to come down and join a band and we don't have any jobs, we've got no money, and we live in a cabin with no electricity and no water? <laughs> well, hell yeah, I want to do that. <laughs> Willie Nelson, we were touring with him, and he basically said, hey, if you go to Texas, like, not only will they listen to this music, but it's still alive, and they're going to dance to it. I did suggest that they come to Texas because I knew that that would be their best possible place to play, you know. We fit in in a very awkward way. I think they thought we were strange, dropped in off another planet. Funny stories will narrow the topic down a little. I could tell you some stories, but we probably wouldn't want to put them on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the actual outhouse where Lucky Oceans thought up the name Sleep at the Wheel. The bus knows everything. And all of a sudden, the bus is up. I got the whole band fired my second night. He pulls a pistol on us and takes us to the police station. He's blood everywhere, and good God. We walk inside, and it was a Ku Klux Klan hall. I always told people he was too tall to trust. But then I've played basketball with Ray, too, and, and not quite so tall. So if Ray Benson is 6'8", and he wears a 16 shoe, uh, anyway, where were we? <laughs> I don't know who left first. I wouldn't be the first one to leave. I mean, there were big arguments over stuff. You got on the bus when you were 21, you get off at 29 and you're still 21. I mean, it was so rough that nobody would, in their right mind would put up with the first, you know, 10 years of this band. It's easier to get out of show business than in the show business. 80s band. 80s band. Say mother. I came in right at the end of what I call the dark days. You know, I've had to mortgage my house more than twice. We did a Sleep at the Wheel 10, that album, and had House of Blue Lights on it, and that was sort of the beginning of the comeback. This is not just a steady gig. This is a steady gig at a, a very high level. I admire him so much for keeping the tradition alive. If not for Ray Benson to sleep at the wheel, we wouldn't have genuine Western swing today. He's obviously not a giant pot of gold at the end of the rainbow playing Western swing. He's been able to, to keep a band together for 40 years. It is like beyond my understanding. It's something that does not compute. I couldn't ever have thought in 1970 one tenth of what has happened. The success that we've had as a musical organization, the longevity of it, and part of the lesson of all of this, my life, this band is, you know, don't give up. He's way too tall. <laughs> well, he won't feel on my bus.